Before I even start off the video, let me just tell you guys something, okay? Um, if you are gamers that like new games, of course, then leave, leave this video immediately, okay? Just leave it immediately, because I'm just gonna talk bad about the new games, seriously. Just, just leave, seriously, just leave. If you love the new games, just leave, okay? No, I know, but anyways, this is Derek Yasha, and let me get on to the subject, okay? Games are not good anymore, alright? Seriously, like, what the fuck happened to them? I wanna know. You know, now when you play a new game, it's just generic. You know, either if it's, uh, you know, a third-person action game, or, you know, platformer, or shooter... Or anything like that, okay? It's just generic, okay? And it's real fucking easy now, okay? Like, let me use the example. A third-person shooter game is real easy, okay? All you gotta do is just, you know, bl guns blaze. And you could beat the game less than four hours, okay? With, you know, Uzis and shotguns and whatever, okay? Just saying, though. You remember when a game was challenging? Yeah. You remember that you would die a couple of times in the, in the level? And you would have to figure out a strategy to beat the, the, the enemies? Well, no, not here. Not here. You could put it on the hardest difficulty setting, and mainly you could go guns blazing and not even die. Maybe, of course, that you'll get a couple of hits, okay? But yeah, you won't die at all, okay? All alls it will do is, you know, knock you back, and mainly you get your ass up. Okay, sorry for looking at my fingers, but, you know, I was just checking if there was something on them. No, I know, but mainly you get back up, you know. Ugh. No, I know. Uh, mainly, uh, they they give you overpowered weapons. Okay, seriously. Remember in games they would give you the weaker weapon first, and then you would have to get powerful weapons later on into the game. No, not the case here. They give you powerful weapons. At the very beginning of the game, and then you know you're you're you don't you don't feel uh, weak. You don't feel powerless. Okay, you don't feel powerless at all. No, I know. And mainly games are just the same thing. Oh, the generic first person shooter, shooter. Uh, the generic third person shooter. Oh, the generic hack and slash game. For the 40th, 50th thousand time, okay? Quick time events. For the 60th thousand time, okay? Seriously. Just saying, though. You know, it gets repetitive and it gets old, okay? Nobody wants to play the same thing over and over again. People are just sick and tired of it. People are just bored of it, okay? RPGs being the same fucking thing over and over again, okay? No, why don't you try something new and innovative, okay? Instead of having a fucking menu system that you have to attack with, that you that you press the attack button, uh, you know, to command, or, you know, you, you press defend, command, you know, no. First of all, tr try to make an RPG where you don't have to rely on a stupid menu menu system that pops up and then you have to pick whatever you want to do. No, no. Here's what you do. You, you make an RPG, but make it that you can actually go up to the person and attack them instead of waiting for your character 30 seconds just to attack somebody and then wait another 30 seconds for the enemy to, you know, bitch smack you, and then wait for another 30 seconds just so you could pick 
if you want to use an attack or magic or anything like that. No, no. People are sick and tired of that, okay? Why don't you try this? Why don't you try having an RPG, but, you know, like, whatever you're playing, you know, Box or X or B, whatever system you're playing it on, you know, does an attack, you know, X or A or let's just say Y does uh, a defense. And, of course, B does your magic and, of course, stuff like that. You know, just saying, though, like, why not have RPG like that? That sort of plays like a hack and slash game, but it's still an RPG. And stuff like that, you know, but no, no, because they're going to go the same way and the same route, okay? Just fucking saying, okay? Like, my God, you know, and the NFL, the, the NFL sports games and sports games in general it's just the same fucking thing but with new features of course okay like really do we really care and each and every fucking racing game is the fucking same okay just fucking saying though and what's real cheap is now it's real easy because you could press why to rewind the shit or triangle, whatever you're playing it on. Okay, you could press triangle or Y. Let's say if you crash your car into the wall and then, you know, a tire is missing off of it and, you know, you're only driving to the side, to the side of the wall. Well, mainly what you can do now is fucking rewind it. Okay, rewind it to where you messed up at and... and replay that part again. No, it's fucking bullshit, man. Seriously, it's it's fucking dumb. Okay, and in, in my personal fucking opinion, okay, it's it's fucking stupid and dumb. First of all, okay? If uh you crashed into a wall, your car's total or you know, you, you can't move the car anymore. You would have to restart the level again. Okay, that that was the whole challenge. Okay, but no, you you take away the fucking challenge from the game. Seriously. Oh, well, now I can just press rewind, and the car could rewind back. And of course, let me do that sharp turn. Okay, when the first time, you know, you try to do that sharp turn and you crash into the wall, and your car is messed up. No, I know, another thing is, you know, just gaming in general, you know, like, like the newer games, they're not even worth $60, okay, they're not. You could beat them less than a fucking day or, you know, two or three days later, okay, just saying though. It's, n it's not even worth it, okay, it's not. But, um, before I end the video, let me use the example. Okay, do you remember in the Super Nintendo game, the Super Nintendo days or games or whatever, that uh, mainly the levels were challenging and you would need cheat codes in order to beat it because how tough the game is? D yes or no, do you remember that? Yes or no? Okay, do you remember Genesis? Do you, do you remember... Uh, continues or you know extra lives okay do you remember that uh you know now it's just way too easy man seriously it's way too easy and the games are boring okay the games are just always about the same fucking thing over and over again okay just saying just thought i would tell you okay but uh yeah you know, yeah, yeah. Why games so boring? They they lost originality. Okay, seriously, they lost originality. You know, um, for me, I'll just go back and play retro games. Seriously, because retro games are for me. Newer games are not for me. 
and you know it's, it's just gonna get worse from there on okay it's just gonna get oh, worse than what it is right now because pretty much uh i don't want to waste 60 dollars down uh, on a game that i know is gonna fucking suck okay i'm sick and tired of this shit but anyways i'm out peace